What's up legends? Welcome back to the channel. We are off on a new adventure today and it's a sailing adventure. We're gonna try and uh, sail all the way to Rose Island. It's about 40 to 50 kilometers away. Uh, that's one way. And um, the wind is super favorable. It's blowing hard, about 80 miles an hour. And uh, the conditions are ideal in terms of wind to get there. Uh, I have camping gear, I have fishing gear, I have a nice cooler. I don't know how long it's gonna take guys, um, this is definitely the longest sail I will attempt or I have attempted so far and um, I'm not sure what to expect, I'm ready to sleep anywhere needed to make this happen. I have my gear and uh, we're gonna give it our best shot, see how far we can get and uh, have a good time. Guys stay tuned and let's, let's go do this now. This is alright guys. We are off guys, we are off on our adventure, yeah, awesome, wind is wonderful and uh, I'm tracking here with, uh, with the GPS, we're averaging like nine, nine miles an hour so far, that's, that's pretty good progress guys, we realize we have a bit of a major issue, I, I left without a life vest in the excitement so my friend Kevin over here is coming to the rescue Alright bud Thank you man, thank you So uh, we're coming up to this little island here guys This is where I last camped uh, uh, in my last video That was a little deserted island um, Let's open the sail up a little bit here Quite shallow around around this area, so we just gotta be a bit careful. Just hitting around the area, hitting a sandbar. So we are we are killing it in terms of progress. Actually, we we almost capsized about 10 minutes ago. Um, that was super super close. Oh, super shallow. What am I doing here? I need to get out of here. Super shallow. Anyway, yeah. So that uh, the right uh, point of the uh, of the hobby dug into the water completely, and the hobby just went like that, like 90 degrees, and I was like putting all my weight back on here to try and flatten it out everything was like sideways and everything was everything was hanging from the from the carabiners that got my blood flowing and uh, elevated my alertness oh, hello cloud holy moly look at that I think I'm gonna put my rain jacket right now yep here comes the rain guys 
coming. Oh yeah, it's coming. You know it. Woo! Woo! Ah, trusty rain jacket. I almost didn't bring it. Let's, let's keep going, guys. Rain isn't gonna stop us. All right, guys. So a little update. Uh, we've come to the eastern point of Nassau and the wind is howling it's uh it's actually too windy i wish it was a bit less windy for this crossing um i can see rose island over there in the distance i don't know if you guys can see it's like a really uh that's the point of the east point of nassau right there and then all along there another seven five to seven kilometers out is rose island the only difference is that Instead of hugging the coast now, we have to cross and there's nothing in between. So we're going to take a break now. We've been sailing for three hours or something like that now. So we're going to this uh, that little beach over there in front of us. We're going to stop. Oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> okay. See what I'm talking about guys? So uh, that's just a gust of wind comes with a tight sail sailing up wind like this. and very uh very easy to uh to capsize so anyway i'm gonna make it to this beach and uh, weigh my options look at the map look at the distance uh think about the weather think about the wind <clears throat> direction tomorrow and i'll see you guys on the beach okay so guys this happened coming in and they got the channel i think the sail was stuck uh, was locked and a gust of wind just came and toppled it over it. I'm lucky it didn't, the mask didn't fall on my head. It's not a good sign, guys. You have to listen to the sign and be true to yourself and, uh, and make a call, you know. Uh, it's all about calculating risk but not stupid risk. I don't want to put myself in a capsize situation uh, in a stretch of water where it's a uh, you know, I'm, I'm far from that. I'm over it. Um, the wind is kind of uh, chilled me. I'm, I'm wet. I'm cold. You know, I don't like giving up, but there's some warning signs, you know. And I think we should listen. So that's okay. Let it go. And uh, let's make an adventure out of this anyway. We'll find a nice place to camp and. Um, get dry get some food on and enjoy the day all right guys here we go
you guys in a bit, okay? Drifting into the ocean. The coast is getting further. I've already asked for help and I'm gonna keep trying to uh, turn this over, guys. Well, guys, looks like we are semi screwed. But uh, I can't get, I couldn't get this to, uh, I couldn't un uncapsize this. Continuing to drift south into the uh, ocean. All my stuff is detached, luckily, here. And uh, I managed to make to make contact with a marina that is like a kilometer and a half away from here and gave them my location and they said they're coming to help so that's uh, that's pretty lucky that I'm in range so well the plan is to uncapsize this hopefully it will help me to, to get this back up and then uh, we'll head back or we'll come somewhere else I guess but uh, I'm uh, keen to get some help here guys, it's not a, uh, it's quite a bit of an un unnerving feeling drifting into the ocean and uh, anyway, I'm gonna focus now and be on alert for the help and I'll uh, sign in in a bit To the rescue of heroes! Man, am I happy to see you guys! Can we can we flip over? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Nice. Just into the window. legend what a legend he came he saved me with his friend and uh, it's been super super hospitable super hospitable he offered me hot shower food he offered me to stay the night here and uh, so I can make it back to uh, to the west side of Nassau tomorrow this is the boat initially the um, the rudder has come off uh, I thought it was broken but I managed to fix it took the sail down the fishing rod is gone, I lost the fishing rod completely. I'm gonna check what's dry or not. I hope, luckily, none, none of the gear uh, fell off. I have my drone in one of these bags. So I'm gonna get all this stuff now. I'm gonna get all this stuff and uh, maybe get a hot shower and uh, ah, yeah, just take a breath and uh, calm down and tomorrow morning we'll uh, start again with the wind actually picked up way more than uh, anticipated it was supposed to be blow up up to 18 and I think it got up to 24 miles an hour it's super cold now I've been in the water for a while and uh, I can't wait for a hot shower guys so I'm gonna get my stuff and uh, assess the damage and the situation and uh, re-strategize so that we can make it out of here tomorrow well food situation is this it's absolutely gone there's no food whatsoever or water nothing left at all <laughs> so that's that all right guys so bit of a uh, bit of peace a bit of calm the manager uh, of palm key came up and I had a conversation with him and he's being super super hospitable he's offered very kindly to put me up in a room for free which right now sounds amazing and I can't wait for a hot shower um, I'm, I'm like chilled to the bone Damaro, the, the dog master here at the uh, Palm Key he's gonna hook me up with food and so I'm, I'm just so grateful uh, and so overwhelmed by everybody's um, natural instinct to help you know it's uh, when you're in a situation like that and everybody comes out to help like that it's pretty inspiring and uh, it's quite touching and um, 
very grateful for that. I'm really, really grateful for everybody's help. I was gonna try and make it back a bit today, but it's so windy, there's no point, and I don't wanna risk capsizing again, obviously, and the sun's already setting, so there's no more time. This is the dog master here, the man, the man, the man of the hour. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. <laughs> I will, I will. Thank you. So, uh, this is the beautiful, beautiful marina. This is our home for the night. Guys, check this out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness how we've been set up beyond belief this is incredible guys how the situation can change so quickly huh there's four there's two extra rooms here and another bathroom it's like four bedroom this four bedroom townhouse but time for a shower and i can't wait to eat something i'm absolutely starving i basically had no food the whole day had a amazing hot shower wow the simple things in life sometimes are the best huh there's a whole red snapper with a bowl of rice and a sweet corn i mean wow thank god i'm so grateful absolutely beautiful red snapper this is the leftovers and that will be breakfast for tomorrow I put some family members through quite a lot of stress today when I fired the SOS but, uh, button uh, all the emergency contacts got activated and so, so I'm sorry for that that I caused that that stress wasn't my intention to stress anyone out but I, I reacted in the best possible way in that situation to ensure my safety I mean the Garmin is invaluable right it could have been if I if I didn't have phone signal that thing potentially could have saved my life anyway so i'm gonna pass out now guys it's been a long day and very grateful to have this uh, gorgeous bed to sleep on and i'll catch you guys uh tomorrow good night good morning everybody it's about uh 6 15 in the morning and uh now we're gonna we're just preparing i'm estimating between three and four hours depending on the wind and uh, conditions of the sea our vessel is ready mikey my man here uh, helped helped us out to get ready yeah, yeah, thanks buddy <laughs> thank you man <laughs> full of wonderful people this uh, pumpkin everybody's uh, been super amazing so sun is rising over there at 6 40. so the goal today is to get back safely that's it <laughs> that is it that's the only goal to get back safely the direction of the wind looks pretty good the sea looks quite calm and luckily it's uh, also high tide right now that makes it easier to navigate uh, closer to the shoreline and uh, cuts a little bit of distance out smooth sailing so far guys and um, I got 30 kilometers ahead of me. Uh, we've been sailing now for about one hour now. We progressed quite well up until this point. Um, we're probably a third of the way. But now the wind has died a bit. And it's been pretty slow going for the last 10 minutes. We've been, uh, our average is coming down rapidly because of this stretch. In the meantime, this is the beautiful ocean, the coastline of Nassau. And we've got the, um, the sun in the background.
quick uh, progress update. Uh, we've been sailing, it's now about 9, 10 in the morning. We've been sailing for about two hours, 20 minutes, and we are in the final stretch. Uh, we are very close. Yeah, it's been a good progress, eventful trip. Super eventful, lots of learning to take away. Uh, safety measures, review, better planning, and so on. But that's what that's what keeps it interesting. That's what you know. That's where the growth comes from, from uh, making mistakes and um, being exposed to certain situations. So uh, I'm I'm very grateful for them, nonetheless. Anyway, uh, I will catch up with you guys once we hit the land in uh, in the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes guys made it safely to land after about uh, two hours 40 minutes uh, sail back uh, thank you for watching guys if you like the video remember to uh, subscribe like and share and I will see you on the next adventure thanks for watching guys